This is my man. Uh -oh. Are you my man? Huh? Are you my man? I can't really hear what you're saying. Are you? Hold on, bro. They, they, no, they, they, they. Are you my man? Are you her man? Yeah. No. What? Are you her man? Yeah. Her man. Yes, I'm a man. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. What? Why is she hitting me? Yes. What? Uh. Uh. Yes. What? Yes. Yes, you're a man? No. Yes, what? To the question. What? What's the what? Question? No, I need you to reiterate what I said. My boy, having your mans in them on speaker in the car while your girl is in the car, whoo, that's short bus behavior. I'm going to be honest with you because you never know what your niggas is liable to say. Rule numero uno. If you got to carry a conversation with your boys, either do it before she get in the car or you're going to look suspicious as hell, do like them old be doing and have that Bluetooth in your ear while you're driving because I'm letting you know right now there is an 80% chance that your n might say something directly or indirectly that will incriminate you. And you might not even be doing shit, bro. Your mans might call you about some escapades that he done had. Now she like, oh, these are the type of friends you hanging out with. Don't do it. I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this, but this is the truth. Y'all don't like to hear it, but a lot of us single moms were literally tricked. And what I mean by that is no, that person didn't show any signs that they weren't going to take care of the child when they were at when they were at every doctor appointment. Sure, didn't show any signs that they weren't going to be there as a father when they were there picking out everything for the baby registry or when they were in the hospital room when the baby was born. And we sure didn't know that he wasn't going to be a good father or he wasn't going to be there when he was in the house with us taking care of the baby, watching the baby while we was working, watching the baby while we go to the store. The only thing and the only time that man ever showed he wasn't going to take care of that baby was once we left him alone. That's how most of us got tricked. The thing about this is, if we flip perspective, it'll be like looking in the mirror. Just like it's bitter baby daddies out here, it is bitter baby mothers out here. Crazy thing is, the bitter baby mothers hold more power. The court system usually sides with the bitter baby mothers. I'm not gonna act like it ain't bum ass against us out here that would have kids and not take care of it. Dudes out here that literally brag about having kids they don't know about. I don't know how you think that's funny. But at the same time, we're not gonna act like it ain't dudes out here that wanna take care of their kids, but because they have a bitter baby mother, she's limiting the vegetation, she's trying to get more child support than she actually need. The father taking care of the kids. Anything the kids need, he do it for him, but you still trying to turn his kids against him. In business, we have a whole show on the way. We about to make millions. Let them know. This is a business move. We're like blue face right now. What, Blaine? I'm your Christian. Hold on, bro. Um, that's Sydney Star. Eddie Winslow crossing the street? Tomo. Oh, I'm your Kashan Rock. <laughs> Kashan Rock and Blueface, here we come. No. Wait, they got back together. No. That's not that's not what we're trying to do. That's not. We we're money makers. In business. We have That motherfucker said, wait, they got back together. For those of y'all who don't know, this is the trans woman who destroyed Chingy's career. Do y'all remember Chingy? I like the way you do that right there. Y'all remember Chingy? Well, y'all remember the rumor that Chingy was out here playing in peanut butter? Well, that's Jiffy. Your friend is feeling my friend. I think you might have to uh, get a wing woman I might have to be. So I'm... let me go ahead and get in contact just in case so we get acquainted. Unfortunately, I have a boyfriend. That don't matter. That don't matter. What happens to Miami stays in Miami. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't live by that. Unfortunately, right? What's your biggest red flag then? Girls with boyfriends. <laughs> you see? I already know she gone. The moment she asked the question back, she going. Then you asking a question like, what's your biggest red flag? Those are dating questions to me. She gone. Right now you might be happy, but there's gonna be a time where you're sad. And when you're sad, you need to know who to call. Uh -huh. Yeah, I still have a boyfriend. That's okay. Whenever you lose that dead weight, you know who to contact. That's a playmaker. He made the plays, and then the one.
one-handed stab <laughs> from the grab of the touchdown. It's what playmakers do. She gave this man her Instagram. It's 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Giving the Instagram is worse than giving the number. Because now he have visuals. I don't think motherfuckers understand that. The internet and social media give unlimited access to your woman. And with that access, they have the ability to plant seeds. Now, I know a lot of you ladies swear that you could see shit coming from a mile away. But you can't. Being your girl DMs talking about Grand Rising Queen. You don't even speak like that. I've seen it done before. I've seen again break this shit down in committed relationships, planting seeds. The thing y'all women don't realize is y'all be snitching on yourselves. Y'all be giving away the blueprint. Every time you happy, you post it. Every time you sad, you post it. Anytime your man do something, you on the internet posting subliminal messages. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I thought this was like an old video. Okay, I heard people did say this man apologized. <sighs> I'm gonna need some water for this. Hold on, bro. I'm gonna need some water. <sighs> <All right. sighs> Let's get busy. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. <sighs> Alright, do y'all think it's sincere or do y'all think he's acting sincere? Because right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm feeling the crocodile tears coming on. Now they're going to therapy. They're going to rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. I feel as though this hit different because of the statements and claims of being innocent. It hits so much different now when we actually have proof that you weren't innocent. You feel me? So you saying that you were disgusted back then, but not taking accountability that you actually was abusing this woman and making the rest of us, especially people like me, think that it was a money grab. Because Puff, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was out here fighting for you, dog. I'm like, nah, I ain't no Puff, man. She made that up. When I seen that video, it was a smack in the face. I guess you're doing the right thing by releasing a statement. The last thing I'm gonna add though, because I don't want us to forget this. Puffy got somebody upset. Show me your completely useless secret talent. Wait, why? No, I ain't gonna, mm. <laughs> you doing too much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you doing too much. Yo, it, doesn't that like block the air? Right? Like you can you can kill yourself doing that. Why is she able to do that? I ain't gonna lie, young lady. That, that, that's a talent, but just think about it this way. Suppose you sleep and it accidentally happened. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. I caught it just in time.
Why is that on the internet, bro? Mm -hmm. He go over to my bed and he slam my bed all the way over to the dresser. He tell me I want your knees on the dresser. He said face the window. My dresser is right in front of my window. So I go ahead, get up on the dresser. My knees pushing up against the hardwood. And I gotta clench my hands like I'm a damn cat. I got a ceiling fan on hat. Go on. This stands up on the bed. Ceiling fan smack his ass in here. Bow! You hear the blade. <laughs> 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 Bro, you Yo, why, why this shit sound so accurate? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever tried to like put your finger while the fan was running? It sounds just like that. It sounds just like that. <laughs> Why that shit? That shit was that shit was accurate as hell. <laughs> Around. Now he got an attitude to me. I already know he not gonna last long up in Sydney Dean. Sydney Dean, she do her thing. And it's light at first, and it's like, okay, I can do this. Now he going hard. Talking about, bro. Sydney Dean is crazy. Sydney Dean is crazy. Hold on. Is Sydney Dean like something? I'm, let me look it up. It, it, there's no way. Is Sydney Dean something, or she just she just named her, her coochie Sydney Dean out of nowhere? Sydney Dean is crazy. Her coochie got a social security number. That is the world's most expensive underwater hotel room. To get there, you go down your own private elevator. I promise this is going to be worth the wait. You are immediately greeted by fish as soon as you walk out of the elevator. You come down this hallway, which leads you to the bedroom. <laughs> the ceiling is made of glass. This is the incredible bedroom. This is what we were seeing from up there. Check out all of those things. Hey, hold on. <clears throat> uh, white folks, are we doing this? I'm just asking. Because the way I'm set up, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep knowing that it's glass keeping me from drowning. This. They live on this reef. This is your own private sitting area. I imagine this is what it would be like if you were driving a submarine. But that's not even the best part. It gets better. Wait until you see the bathroom. Ta -da! That's where <laughs> the toilet raises up to greet you. And this is your view while you're sitting on the toilet. This is your view while you wash your hands. The mirrors even move so you can watch the fish while you brush your teeth. And last but not least, while you're standing under your waterfall shower, that is your view. That is the world's most expensive. I just want to know, what is the layer of protection if the glass break? Nah. I'll pass. I'll pass. I shit it in a tissue before. You, you touch it every single day. If you Why are you touching the shit? The tissue yeah. is for the shit. Are you telling me that y'all just let the doodle fall in the toilet? Y'all don't catch it every time? Yo. <laughs> I am about to leave, bro. How do y'all check I'm about to say this shit wrong. My Time out, folks. Time out, folks. Does this man just say he catch the doodle? You been letting the doodle fall in your hand? Are we serious right now? He got to be trolling. I've been yeah. catching my all these years. Now, I'm more disgusted than like, I feel like I can't continue. What are you talking about? I'm, my stomach So hold on, so y'all just sit there and sh right and come right out. <laughs> no way. What happens if you got the yeah. runs or something like that? Yeah. What do you do then? That shit, you wash your hands. Why do you think people wash their hands? <laughs> Yo, you shit in your hand, bro? What's this shit? This is why you can't be giving everybody that. This is exactly why you can't be giving everybody that. I'm one of those people, if we go to the bathroom together and you don't wash your hands, yeah, it's a wrap for me and you. I've had people in my old job, I've seen them in the bathroom not wash their hands. It became socially awkward after that. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no more of this. It's straight. I might, I might hit you with these right here, because I don't know where your knuckles been neither.